Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization VI. Uh, yeah, that government plaza doesn't have a really good fit for us. So I think I think it's just going to go like between these guys, even though for sure there are going to be dead tiles around it. Um, like either here or here. Wish I could put it on the Jade. That would be a decent selection suppose they could get this commercial and then we could just throw it on the rice could do like a wonder plus this like terracotta government plaza commercial hub for them theater square for us and then commercial hub for us spain's encroaching from the east yeah a little bit we'll deal with them later Definitely deal with them later. Then we the web of the mystic measure. All right. So we're going to get era score for these campuses. That gets us to 44. Then we need eight more. Uh, I'll get two more from Eureka's. So then we're ju we just need six. If I can clear this, we'll need three. But it still looks like we're going to need about three era score somewhere. So maybe we are looking at a first suzerain. It's probably decent. Yeah, we might be able to snag another merchant, especially if we get the faith out of it. Hello, Brennan. How you doing? Yeah, horse and sword units could could do it. Hmm. I'm getting the watermill there. If I get these walls, again, this is a Eureka, so it gives us a little bit of era score. So I'm getting these two here, 48. I just got the three. So I need four more. This would be three, and then I'll just need to find one. Defensive tactics is not the first of a new era, though. Right? Got to get to all the way to medieval for it. Now, if I go to here to, like, apprenticeship, we can, but we don't get there in time, so... We've got time. We'll find it. Yep. Already seized Brussels. Long enough to get our Eureka. They're no longer ours, but not the Eureka, the Era score. Getting a lot more science now, though. That feels pretty good. I need to grow here before I can do anything else productive. So I'm going to get the granary for housing and food. Here's our last continent. Seven turns on the era. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> I just can't win today. Okay, well. Hey, Harald, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing okay. <laughs> Cannot win today, you guys. I'm trying. So that is a new luxury for us. We could pop it, but I also want to meet these people. Uh, that looks like Genghis. And then if I can meet the last one, that's another way into this golden. Do 
I have multiple charges? No, just just the one. Just the one. Okay, well. That's ridiculous. I like, can't deal with this now. Do you think that they're going to tone down barbs? Do you think enough people... like? I try not to let it bother me. Because I actually think the, bul the barbs being aggressive is a good thing for the game. But do you think enough people have complained at this point that uh, that, the, that they're going to tone it down? Because it feels like a lot of people complain. Do you get multiple charges on great people? Sometimes great people just come with extra charges, and then some you can you can do it with like mausoleum and stuff. But bring the general over, over to convert the barbs. I mean that's not a bad idea. Gives up my general, though, which is kind of a scary promote, uh, premonition. But yeah, that's a reasonable option. Government Plaza here. Are we happy with that? Have a grading on barbs just like disasters. That's a good idea. They were turned down when it was bugged. Yeah, that didn't count, though. I just think that lulled all the Civ players into a false sense of security. <laughs> all right, we've got Victor 3. That's good. Just going to commit to that being there. We just need to get it. I don't really care too much. Where it's going to go. So there's Genghis. Sure. All right. Four era score needed in five turns. Even went into the smart tile. That's weird. Weird that there are only two religions right now. So I've got one more era score coming here. I can get a swordsman. There are the crossbows, as I said. Probably the unit probably dies. All right, what else can we do? We can try to meet whoever's left. Three turns. All right, that should take care of it, I think. It gives up our classic general, but we, we decided a long time ago that we were going to give that up anyways. So we grab a couple swords. There are future units we can do, and then we can probably just clear this next turn, and that'll secure our golden. So we found it. Not, a, not I'm not thrilled about retiring the general, but uh, I think in this situation it works out for us. Uh, we do probably want to go ahead and grab the Warlord's Throne. We're getting somewhat close to muskets. Not like crazy. Could use some more science for sure.
pyramids, library, or builder. Or Jebel. Probably, yeah, I probably need the library. I think I'm going to squeeze in the granary first so they can keep growing. And then we'll worry about the rest of it. It's Mohenjo. Could establish somebody here yet. Last turn of the era. We do it. We got it. How about it? Very nice. Okay. So Golden Age secured. Uh, probably not doing a ton with it other than like making sure that we have loyalty if we, if we wind up getting sucked into a war here um, or wind up just getting there. We're going to work, work on feudalism to get to stirrups and then on to gunpowder. I suppose we can go after apprenticeship first to make our minds a little bit better. But boy, howdy, do I need some science. City state. Let's get. Okay. Yeah, we could sell some iron. It's interesting. I don't really want to stock up our enemies too much. So let's see. Really just need to get our science. So a couple libraries, get them in three turns, get them a, a campus. Actually, that could be their campus. That might work out. Although I still hate putting it underneath the volcano. It is plus three. So is this. Um. So then... Where does Ibrahim live? Probably just in Bursa. Because then I get three cities that'll have his uh, 10 combat strength to city centers. Don't really care about the unit production so much. I'd rather actually produce the units where we have Victor to get the promotion. Yeah, don't care about the unit production, just care about the promotion from here. I think that's better than the 20%. We're going to be building swords anyways, not muskets, so this should be pretty cheap. Timings, am I going here? Yeah, we're going after his musketmen. Um, and as long as we're there like prior to turn 110, I'm usually pretty happy. Although, ba given our science, it's not likely to happen this game. We'll see. Into the medieval era. With a golden. Wealth consists I'll take that. Having... Again, I want these libraries. And I do probably, I'm probably going to get a couple of commercial hubs, although the culture wouldn't be bad here to get us to like feudalism and things. What are my, what's my best choice here? We're working on science, not so much on culture. Mercenaries is incredibly important. I actually think I need the culture here. So I'll take pen brush. And we have a couple, couple, couple districts that are going to give us that bonus. Valletta, I like. I, I like exploring with this guy. I was going to grab the thing, but why bother? World Congress starts. Definitely want to reduce the cost production wise of units. Don't have any extra to make that happen, but that's okay. 
And then fewer grievances will vote for us. I don't think I win either of these, but I don't have any extra Diplo favor to really manipulate it. So we'll just cross our fingers. Matthias, extra grievances, and then 50% production reduction, which is what I wanted. So that's actually fantastic. That will be good. Although it allow our enemies to respond to us a little bit faster, but oh well. Special session, probably for Mohenjo, maybe? Nope. Okay. How do you get a merchant so early? It's because of the wonder. The wonder gives us, as long as you own one tile of it, you get two merchant and two general points per turn. So, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it seems like everyone's up for a little bit of war, that's for sure. Really want this. We need this uh, medieval renaissance. So that becomes more important. I don't want terracotta quite yet. I could start with these. I don't mind one more builder, I think. Hard teching feudalism, unfortunately. Dido, there we go. Yeah, it's a pretty fun wonder, for sure. For sure. Is she down there? Okay. So that's a bunch of error score where we the first we were. So there's five. That's excellent. Merchant could circumnavigate the world. Yes, absolutely. Certainly a possibility. Sure. Happy to keep selling. Bobsled Johnson, thank you so much for the 10 months. <laughs> Seems to be everybody right now, yeah. Under quarantine, more time to watch Civ. Hey, that's, you know, hey, there are worse, plays to, worse ways to spend your quarantine. Thank you so much, Bobsled. Welcome back for 10 months in a row. I really appreciate the ongoing support. Thank you, thank you. I'd love if our uh, trader would stop doing his thing. Again, really looking for this library. Want as much science as we can right now. I think I even send this first one over to Babylon just for the little bit of science we get from them. Could have doubled it up. Not too worried about that in a warmonger kind of game. <laughs> yeah, it can be annoying when city states block your path. No doubt about that. Eventually that guy is going to circumnavigate and it's going to be great. It's going to be great. 
He probably won't hate me too much. I'm not going to build too many cavalry units. Not my problem. Too far away. Should have gone here, actually. Because then these could have been double theater squares if I build terracotta here. Oops. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a mistake. This is why you should pin your cities. I've gotten I've gotten real lazy with my pins, haven't I? That's a bit of an oopsie. Oh, well. We'll just get gold now. Oh yeah, bobsled. Oh yeah. Full-fledged warmonger here. Okay, those are basically the war promotions that we need. 10 extra combat strength when attacking defensible districts. So this will be for city centers and encampments. Um, we're pretty much ignoring this. And head falconer really only matters if we establish them like over in Pericles' cap. I suppose we could. And get, a, give an, get an extra 5 combat strength to tiles here. And then just extend the other ability. I guess that's a little bit better. Then then we can go for both of these. So I can actually move you to Athens. And I think that'll be fine. It's a little early for it, but I have filled the water. Does he declare war? Doesn't he get expelled? He does not, no. He gets booted if you're at war with them? Oh really? What's the point of establishing an option your opponent's thing then? Uh, okay, so then he doesn't matter. Well, that's a stupid ability then. <laughs> Do I just do this? Yeah, but it makes this ability pretty bad. Head Falconer. Right? Because then this is only defensive. And at that point, meh. So, what is better than this? How close am I to wanting to start cranking out units here? Still have to discover this, so not super close. I think I'd actually like to leave that in for now. Yeah, it's fine. Hunter Faith could go to the Grandmaster Chapel for bombards. It could, yeah, certainly could. Although you 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 forego, you actually don't really want to faith by your bombards. Normally, you really like to do that because the bombards are really expensive. But we get an extra fifty percent production towards them, uh, so you're actually better off faith buying probably elsewhere and and just you know straight up building the siege units here. Discounts them by about a third. All right, they're a trading post. That means I get my trader back now. We're all apprentices in And we go into Athens. I don't mind this either, though. Actually, that's better. I want to be able to cross this uh, once Once I have this. And actually, yeah. Well, wait a minute. Let's look at this road. Roads are very, very important for, for warring, you guys. Um, and we deliberately put the encampment up here because if I get a road through here, then the units can come out of the encampment or at least travel through this city and get down here and not have to cross any more bodies of water which means I should probably go here because I cross this body of water and then I cross it again and then I cross this one give me a lot of flexibility with my movement when we go to start attacking him this is interesting too because it does like you know gives me my bridge here here and here but I think this is slightly better
even though it's bad it's worse for yields i think that's a better road so another merchant uh only 12 turns to complete one leg of it that the trade route will probably go for about 30 turns daily If you watch to win, like, if you watch for turn 104, it, that won't be the expiration of the trade route. Yeah, the numbers are a lie. I kind of want this tile for my campus for them. That's their next thing, I think. Although, they need to get to pop 10. What else could I snag? I could snag this. Could grab some of these horse tiles. Actually, that'd be pretty decent for this. Yeah, I know. We get three uses there, which is good. Save it for niter tiles. It's not a bad idea either. Take horses from Hungary. I don't care about horses, and I have several sources of my own. Four turns on this. Could certainly use more science. Keep it for niter aluminum. That's a, yeah, it's not a bad idea, Moonster, for sure. And then I'll probably work on terracotta. Actually, I'll probably work on units and then terracotta. I don't know that I'll get this terracotta since we're not going for it immediately. It'll probably be a pretty tough ask. It's a good tile for our cap too. Search, I mean, it's irrelevant at this point, right? And I don't have that much vision on other people's cities. So it's honestly not even really worth the search because it's going to give us a false sense of security if we, do if we don't find it. I dubbed this horse Lil Sebastian. <laughs> Very nice. Do I want to refriend with him? Uh, could go for Alhambra here eventually. That would be fine. Terracotta is even better. Like I, I prefer the terracotta. If we can, if we can get the Victor promotion, then the terracotta promotion, and then the promotion for having, uh, for it being a Janissary. That's a starting. That's basically a starting unit with with three promotions. That's crazy. That is pretty darn crazy. So we do have feudalism. I'm not dying for builders. We could certainly use them. Improving tiles is always good. Um, um, hmm. you going to come back and declare on me there, buddy. I got a pretty, I have a pretty decent perimeter set up if you want to bleed units for a little while why don't use tiles for the place i want my districts um because i own those tiles at the moment i don't have a lot of tiles that are like i mean there's this one which is my last use of this guy for the plus three campus um, but this gives this gave me a nice uh tile this gave me a new resource that's potentially sellable plus a nice tile And we'll just have to buy the niter. 
All right, so we have as much science as I can get right here for now. I could go after pyramids, that would be fine. I could get another encampment over here. That seems pretty reasonable as well. Just being able to like bombard Olympia right away. Okay, this actually, this actually makes me laugh. He was, <sighs> all right, whatever. Let's just move on. Um, what else could I get here? I don't know, man. Pyramids are still pretty good. I think I'm going to go for him. Wow. This is a spicy game. So what did he kill? An archer? He's got crossbows. Probably lose that unit to crossbows as well. Alrighty. Um, rip my uh, trade route. That whole road that I really, really wanted. Uh, we're not getting that now. And I actually need probably these walls before the market to be able to attack. Well, that sucks. Four production is pretty insane, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna go there for now. Why is why are the Greeks so mad at me this game? It seems kind of crazy. Okay, um, there's my general. So this will work with my Janissaries. That's pretty huge. It won't work with any of my existing units, though. So that's not great. Uh, and yeah, I think I'm going to start cranking out Swordsman. Rip Muscat. All right. So then I, I don't need this because now we have a general. I just need the one. And then we'll bring in Feudal Contract. Well, I take crossbows uh, probably eventually. I'm still more interested in beelining my Janissaries. I think so, Snooch. We'll find out for sure, but I'm pretty sure they do. It's been about a year since I've played this Civ, so to say that I'm rusty would be an would be accurate. Extra gold here seems pretty decent. The production towards units is fine, although probably not super required. We could actually go double here for uh, for the library benefit, but we're getting pretty close to our units. So, I actually think I'd rather have the gold. It's still pretty relevant. I 
Again, that general's not doing anything over there, but I'm bringing up there for future. Just killing my archers, yeah. AI crossbows are incredibly strong. There's our turn 100 save. Thank you very much. Thanks, you guys. This is where I wish I had a general. <laughs> exactly, Jay. <laughs> Wait, are these guys coming out with promotions or no? Yeah, they are. Okay. <laughs> it's like, hold on. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> Whew, pardon me. Sorry, you guys. A little first look there. One of my first Deity game culture after watching your Gorgo series. First attempt at Deity games I've watched too much before you try. Thanks for all the contact. Awesome. Congratulations. That's that's uh, that's good stuff. Thanks for sharing that as well. Rip? No, not rip. That's good. We'll hang back a tick. The Pantheon strat? What which Pantheon strat? So do I go after Terracotta now? I could put in like three turns, switch, rinse, repeat. We have not a ton of units. Oh, the volcanic tiles faith? Gotcha, yeah. Moving Victor up here? No, I want I want my troops to have uh, the promotions from Victor. That's, I think, more important. I think that's fine. We'll just get the trader out real quick. Hmm, sure. I don't really need horses here. Hopefully we don't get one shot at here. I don't want to buy an archer. Hey, Moondoggy. How you doing, dude? It's pretty expensive. I probably can't afford it. Okay. We took the free settler pantheon. I'm pretty happy with it.
do that for now. Hey, Felonton, how you doing? I could have moved it here to build the theater square, but I think we're just going to absorb our, we're going to assimilate our culture this game. All right, moment of truth, you guys. Dear R and Jesus, please, I've been a very good boy this year, and I would like Niter for this game. Please and thank you. What does the uh, governor do? It's okay. Uh, its base gives you 20% production to all military units. This gives you 10 extra combat strength when assaulting city centers, which is actually quite good. Uh, five extra combat strength for t for units within its territory. Uh, and then the other ones are sort of like weird econ ones. It's not great. It's okay. It's just acceptable. All right. The more science intervenes... Hey. <laughs> All right. That campus has niter. What is this? Oh, God. Niter down there, too. Is that it? That looks like it. Double niter over there. Hmm. That is a bit unfortunate. Now, granted, our, our, our unit's a bit cheaper as far as our NIDA require, re requirement, but it's still quite a bit that we need here. Uh, I may have to bring up a settler and just settle this so that we can make it happen. This isn't a fantastic city. But it's probably required eventually. Hopefully, I can get started without it. We can actually discount, discount our NIDA costs to five per unit. No, they give the same amount, Shred. It's just a, ni a niter city. Nice. <laughs> All right. And then that gives me... I will get an armory. And that gives me, like, yeah, about 120. Makes, about, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, well, with that in mind, we can go ahead and put a cut in the video. We do have a little bit of hope because we do have the niter. Thank goodness we settled the city. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can start making some progress with our domination plans. Thank you so much. If you're watching over on YouTube, I do appreciate it. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Come say out us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.